This is the Apex Legends Mobile Tips and Tricks Encyclopedia, a collection of 100 tips and tricks to take your skills to the next level. There is something for everyone, including best settings, movement tips, beginner tips, and some exclusive super insane pro tips that I'm 100% sure you was unaware of. It took me so many days to finish the video and the best reward for me will be if you could show your appreciation by liking the video. Make a cup of coffee or tea and let's go. His shield works vertically, so if you place it on the edge of a building or a cliff like this, you will be fully covered from any zone damage on multiple levels. There are no optimal graphic settings. Everything depends on your device specification and how well the game is optimized for your device. If your device is lagging, prioritize frame rates over graphic quality. Yes, a good graphic makes the game look better, but it can also cause your device to lose frames, overheat or lag, and even drain your battery even faster. To do so, go to your settings and reduce the graphic to the lowest settings, while keeping your frame rate as high as possible. If you decide to go for a higher graphic setting, try at least to turn off any unnecessary advanced settings. A Wraith can see another Wraith if they are both in the face at the same time. Remember that the Golden Backpack allows you to revive squadmates with bonus shields and health, so give it to someone who has the highest chance to revive somebody, such as Gibby, who can revive faster protected inside his bubble, Lifeline with her revive drone, or Mirage due to his invisibility during the reviving process. When performing a finisher on a knocked enemy, Press cancel during the animation to remove the enemy shield for a few seconds, allowing you to finish him quickly with a couple of bullets. If you are a brand new player, do not forget to set up your FOV to 110 to get a wider field of vision as possible. There are many hidden spots in the game that you can use to your advantage, such as this air condition located on the side of this building in capital city, or under this platform in Kings Canyon. Spend some time exploring the maps and finding the best spots. Instead of waiting for knock teammates to crawl to cover, you can quickly push them there by punching them. You can do the same to push them quickly outside the red zone. Recoil smoothing is a simple way to control your recoil. When we try to control the vertical recoil of a weapon, we usually pull our aim down. This can be difficult to control at times because the recoil pattern is not always in a vertical straight line, causing us to miss a lot of shots. With recoil smoothing, simply turn to the left or right while shooting instead of pulling your right finger down, and you will have practically no vertical recoil. I will use this in a fight, so if you are shooting a target and turning left to apply recoil smoothing, simply counter by moving to the right, and you stay locked on the target. This also applies in the opposite direction, if you turn to the right, Stay locked on the target by moving to the left. You will have no recoil while shooting with this tactic, and the left or right movement will make you a difficult target to hit. Always split from your team a few seconds before landing, because there isn't always enough loot for the entire team to share it in the same building. Leaving a teammate empty-handed in the first few crucial seconds of the game is a terrible idea. The only time I recommend having the entire team landing in the same spot is when you are absolutely certain that another team will land in that exact spot. You don't want to leave your teammate on a 1 vs 3 situation. When going for a jump tower in Trevenant, shoot his tactical at the base of the tower to prevent enemies from following you. This can also be done with ziplines and you can even hit your friends intentionally while riding the zipline to place the orb in mid-air, silencing anyone who decides to follow you. If you are leading the way, always try to ping where you are going, in case you can't communicate through the voice chat. Apex Legends Mobile is a team game that requires constant communication. If you go off on your own and your teammates are even a few seconds behind you when you pick a fight, you will most likely lose and you have only yourself to blame. If you hold an area for a long period of time for an even faster armor swap, you can simply pick up armors from the dead boxes and drop them around you, allowing you to have full armors ready to use in seconds, which is especially useful near the end of the match. To silence your footsteps, move while crouching. This is best used to ambush enemies or to hide from close enemies without revealing your location. When you crouch walk, your footstep icon is removed from the enemy screen. If an enemy is hiding behind a double door, you can use the gap between the door to take him down. If you need to recharge both your shield and your HP, focus on the shield first, because it will take damage before your health. If you are trying to heal or recharge your shield while fighting, 
Keep in mind that a shield battery takes 5 seconds to recharge, a shield cell 3 seconds, a medkit heal over 8 seconds, a syringe 5 seconds and a phoenix kit 10 seconds. The enemy distance from you is critical when recharging or healing. Play accordingly if you don't want to be cut off guard while healing. When shooting at the cargo bot, aim for the bot rather than the cargo, because the bot only needs one shot to be taken down. You will make less noise and save your bullets. And please, rather than shooting, destroy the cargo by punching it. A quiet approach is the best approach. You can tell which cargo bots have a vault key. A few of the light panels on the package it carries will be red. Loba can steal from vaults even if she's on the other side of the mountain, as long as the vault is in the black market range, which is ideal for looting from a safe zone. If you position the joystick like this, in the top left part when flying, you can fly higher and longer. Excellent way to fly over mountains and buildings like this one in Kings Canyon. When you need a specific attachment or ammo type, open your bag and ping it to notify your teammates. They may drop it for you or notify you if they find it. Pro players always find a way to abuse the game mechanics, such as the ability to punch and shoot at the same time, dealing massive amounts of damage. The best results you will get with the Mastiff. Simply press the shoot button and the punch button. You will shoot and punch at the same time. From far away you can tell the difference between a lifeline care package and a regular care package. Lifeline care package will emit a blue light and the regular one will emit a red light. An easy way to know if there is an enemy lifeline around from a safe spot. You can punch knocked enemies into a grey portal to isolate them from the rest of the team and quickly finish them from a safe zone. If you reload your gun with a few bullets left in the mag, you will reload faster, instead of waiting for the auto reload on an empty mag. This is called a tactical reload. Place the raid portal on the map's edge like this and anyone who tries to chase you through it will fall off the map and die instantly. If you don't want to be caught in your own trap, simply walk backward when exiting the portal. Some people are not aware of the possibility to train with AI dummies on the training ground. Simply go to the target practice console, go to special training and select crossfire. You can practice your precision, strafing and movements for as long as you want. Would you like to practice shooting or bullet dodging while riding a zipline? Simply use tip 28 to summon an AI dummy, then place a zipline with pathfinder like this and you are ready to go. You can ride back and forth while shooting to the dummy and even practicing your bullet dodging while on the zipline. During a fight, use voice chat to notify your teammates when you have dealt significant damage to an enemy. When a player has dealt enough damage to crack an enemy shield, discover that they had no shields to begin with or have them retreating with only a couple shots worth of health, they will make such call out. These priceless informations can help teammates to decide whether to chase down an enemy or play defensively. Much of the rest can be communicated through pings, but your teammates can see the damage you have inflicted to the enemy. Aiming down sight increases your accuracy but will slow your movements down. In close range combat, you may want to switch to hip fire and strafe or crowd spam. This is especially useful when using shotguns or SMGs, as it allows you to deal massive damage while dodging enemy bullets. Instead of wasting time, batteries or cells, simply swap your damage shield with a full shield from your enemy dead box. It does not need to be of the same level. A fully charged blue shield is better than a damaged purple shield. As you can see here, I swapped my purple damage shield with a blue one from the enemy dead box, checked to see if there was any more enemies around and then simply I picked up my old purple shield and restored it. Swapping your damage shield for a fully restored one is a fantastic tactic to have your shield ready quickly in case you are pushed by another squad. If you want to melee someone, make sure to jump kick, because it's faster than punching. Throw grenades vertically if needed, they will explode as soon as they touch the ground, ideal for surprising your enemies, especially if they are chasing you. If you are behind the crafting material box and you pick up the material inside, you will be able to see your enemies through it, but the enemies won't be able to see you if they have not picked up the material yet. You can increase your chances of getting kills by joining an ongoing fight between two other squads. This is called third parting. I always carry one arc star, one frag and one termite. They are highly beneficial in a fight and can be used in different circumstances. 
from pushing enemies outside buildings to dealing damage to multiple enemies at the same time. If there is a knockdown teammate or enemy near you, you can use their own knockdown shield as cover in a fight. If you hit a building when flying, you will land at super fast speed. This is especially useful when landing from the dropship, you will be able to reach the ground before anyone else and loot first. When you ping a door, it will be visible even through walls. Great way to keep an eye on the entrance even behind a cover. If you want to know if you are in the zone or not, look at the minimap. If the zone is blinking, you are out of the safe zone. If it's not blinking, you are safe. If you want to improve even more, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It means a lot to me and you will be notified with the best tips and tricks around. By the way, thanks for watching so far. Go in the comments and type, we love Olympus. And the first three to comment will receive a amount of this Cornitro as reward. When using Great Ultimate, after creating the second portal, there is a short animation before you can equip the weapon again. If you want to instantly equip the weapon, when creating the second portal, simply press the weapon icon and the portal icon at the same time, and the animation will be cancelled, allowing you to equip the weapon instantly. Using Octane Steam while jumping from the pad will not allow you to fly any longer or higher. You will just lose HP because of the steam effect. The best thing you can do is to steam after landing from the pad so you can escape your enemies quickly. Do not forget that a golden armor allows you to charge the sentinel with one shield cell instead of two. Do not trash talk on the mic or blame your teammates if you die. You will just create a toxic atmosphere and confuse your teammates even more. Instead calm down and if you can provide them with some essential information, such as the enemy position or the number of enemies still alive. This brings us to tip 47. If you die or you are knocked down, please do not spam that ping button. It's super extremely annoying. We know you are in trouble and as soon as the area is safe, we will revive you or pick up the banner. Do not spam it. You will just piss off your friends and force them to not revive you at all. When knocked down, you can still use a nearby jump pad to escape to a safe zone, allowing your friends to revive you more easily. And of course, you can do the same with Raid Portal. You can use Raid Tactical to see through bungalow smoke and even caustic gas. There are a few glitches in the game, especially when using Loba Bracelet, that allow you to hide inside rocks or parts of the map making yourself invisible to the enemy while still being able to see and shoot them. Intense Reality is a master at finding those spots. Please make sure to check this amazing content creator, I will drop the link in the description. As always, neither me or him encourage this type of approach, but it's always a good idea to know where those spots are located so you can be careful the next time you pass by. When healing with Octane, if you use his team before the healing ends, you will get a free steam which means it will cost you 0 HP if activated. When using Gibby Gun Shield, your legs will be exposed. Simply crouch to have the entire body covered. A great way to counter Mirage clones is to throw Fade Face Chamber on them. The explosion will isolate the original Mirage from the rest of the group, similar to Revenant Tactical. And Crypto EMP, which will destroy all the clones. If Mirage clone gets hit by a grenade, it will immediately reveal from where it was thrown and the distance from the enemy. You can see enemies through bungalow smoke or caustic gas while behind row this rare wall. After jumping from the dropship, you can land directly on the supply ship before it arrives at its final destination, leaving nothing for your enemies once the ship lands. Crypto EMP is fantastic to counter all the legend's abilities like Gibby Bubble, Lifeline Healing Drone, Caustic Gas Traps, Mirage Decoys, and Loba Market. Great can't open or close doors while phasing, so if you are engaged in a fight with her and she tried to escape from the building, simply close the doors and she will be trapped inside the room. If you shoot the base of Caustic Gas Traps, you will destroy them without releasing the gas. All the legends have the same base velocity, which means they will run at the same speed. And no, Gibby is not slower than Octane, it's just Gibby's size and slow running animation making him appear to be slower. Some legends finishers are quicker than others, like for example Fade basic finisher animation is 4.24 seconds long, compared to Ash1 with 5.35 seconds, 
even if milliseconds, sometimes a quicker finisher can save your life while under fire. If you jump with Mirage while throwing your decoy, the decoy will have a different running animation. We know your movements are slower when shooting while in ADS, as compared to hip firing. However, your ADS movement speed vary based on the weapon class equipped, ranging from the slowest to the fastest we have snipers, marksmen, LMGs, assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns and pistols, which are unaffected. When you shoot an enemy, he will slow down by 10% for 0.25 seconds, that can happen once every 3 seconds. All weapons slow down enemies the same and fortify legends such as Gibby or Caustic are immune to the bullet slowing effect. If you manage to place one side of the zipline through a door entrance like this, you can break the zipline by simply closing the door, so no one will be able to follow you. If you use great and someone sticks an arc star on you, use her tactical to make the arc star fall off on the ground, allowing you to flee without taking any damage, you can do the same with ash face breach. While riding a zipline, crouch to instantly unhook from the zipline, allowing you to quickly reach the ground as compared to jumping from the zipline. This works on both vertical and horizontal ziplines. Players sometimes forget how important the Bloodhound track system is. Tracks left by the enemies provide a wide range of useful information, such as how long ago an enemy was killed, slide marks, footprints or when a weapon was fired. And the best part is this information can be pinged and shared with the rest of the squad. Legends have different hitboxes, small, medium and large, which means that some legends such as Raid, Lifeline or Bloodhound are more difficult to hit than others. Choose wisely and if you go for a large hitbox legend, be aware that it will be easier to hit. Be careful and crouching while engaging a fight can slightly mitigate that by reducing the hitbox size. If you punch while using the jump pad, you will jump in a straight vertical line. Good to take a look at your surrounding. A smart way to play the game is to stay close to the edge of the ring and slowly work your way in, rather than staying in the center of the map and dealing with enemies coming from all sides. If you are the jump master, try to ping the location where you want to land. This will inform your teammates of your intentions. Sometimes they don't want to land in your spot, so they can break off from the formation in time. And even if you are not the jump master, you can still suggest a location. Less experienced players will sometimes wait for others to suggest a location. Do not forget that a golden mag will not only extend your mag capacity, but also reduce the reload time and it will auto reload your weapon when holstered. Because Apex is all about teamwork, some legends combinations will be more effective than others. For example, Bangalore works well with Bloodhound, because she can smoke the enemies while Bloodhound can scan and see them through the smoke. Octane also works well with Revenant, because you can drop the Revenant totem and enter shadow mode, then use Octane jump pad to quickly fly on top of your enemies while in shadow mode. These are just few examples, there are many more, experiment to find your best combination. Zipline spamming is a fantastic tactic to dodge bullets while riding a zipline including jump towers. First of all copy my zipline settings and while riding the zipline simply spam the jump button while pulling your joystick down. Work both vertical and horizontal ziplines. Even by simply rotating while riding a zipline can make you a hard target to hit. We know the loba weak point is the bracelet throwing animation. It takes few seconds before you are teleported and during those seconds you are vulnerable. If you can, throw it while behind a cover or rush inside a building, throw the bracelet and close the door. You will have a perfect cover and will be teleported through the door. If you are new to Apex Legends Mobile, I recommend Bloodhound, Octane, Bangalore or Loba as beginner friendly legends and if you are looking for weapons that are easy to use, go with the R301, Flatline, Volt, EVA 8, Spitfire or Alternator. You can easily destroy doors with the charged version of the Rampage. When creating a portal with Braid, you can place caustic traps near one of the exits and anyone who follows you through the portal will fall directly into those traps. If you are reviving someone with life and revive drone, please also drop a healing drone next to the teammate. Once the reviving drone barrier is removed, he will be an easy target for your enemies. Due to the low health, the heal drone will help him recover faster. Fade Face Chamber is not only good for sending enemies into the void, but also can be used as scanning device like Bloodhound Eye of the Old Father. If you notice loot disappearing this way, be aware that someone is looting with the black market near you. You can follow the trail direction to get an approximate location of the market. 
remember that you can throw a grenade at your enemies without revealing your location by making the grenade bounce off the wall. If you are a sniper user like me and you know you will use one during a match, if you find a scope like the 6 times early in the game before finding a sniper, keep it, even if you don't need it in that exact moment. Save it for later, because a good scope is harder to find than the actual sniper. Yes, you will use one slot in your bag, but you won't have to deal with the headache of trying to find one later on. When using lifeline, slide when reviving to cancel the reviving drone dropping animation. I always recommend mastering at least 3 legends, so that if one or two of your main legends are already chosen by your mates, you will have a third option. If mastering 3 is too much, master at least one and have two more that you are comfortable playing with and have a solid understanding of their abilities, so you can play a match or two without difficulty until you return to your main legend. Please, do not spend too much time looting around in the same spot, trying to find the best loot possible. Instead, pick up the basic stuff you need and move to the next location. Killing enemies and looting their dead boxes is way better, they will loot for you. Place Ash Arksnare on a doorway to block it for a few seconds, allowing you to heal or reload. An enemy will think twice about chasing you through the arc snare. When crafting, avoid having all the squad members crafting at the same time. Having one member crafting while the other two are on the lookout for enemies is the best tactic. If you have enough material, you can craft from all three sides at the same time, speeding up the process. If you can't decide on the quantities of the items in your bag, you can copy mine, which are perfectly balanced. I keep the ultimate accelerant and vol key at zero, and only pick them up manually if I think I'll need them. Zone 1 and Zone 2 will not do as much damage as you think, so don't be afraid and try to flee at all costs, you can run directly into your enemies, and if this situation is chaotic, you can stay in the red zone for a while until it calms down, or you can even loot in the red zone, as you will have plenty of health and time to return to the safe zone. You can use doors to climb higher. If your mate is knocked out, you can fake his revival by cancelling it. Enemies usually rush to your location once they hear the reviving sound, thinking that you will be unable to defend yourself due to the reviving process. In this way you will catch them in a trap. Perks are an important part of the game and can make a big difference on the field. Some perks are a must like Wraith Escape Void or Phantom Footfall, Bungal or Fog of War, Octane Running on Air or Ash Shadow Stab. Try experimenting with different perks combinations, see which one works the best for you. And for a start, check out my best perks for every legend video which is linked in the description. The wall jump is one of the most important moves to learn. There are several variations, but the basic one is essential. Simply run toward the wall, slide, jump, and when in the air, do not touch any buttons. When you make contact with the wall, press the jump button again and you will bounce off the wall. Do not forget to turn off the auto sprint option. Revenant, Mirage, Bangalore and Octane will use their tactical with only one hand, allowing you to use the other to shoot, throw grenades or even sniping without interfering with your tactical. In case you have the vault key, you can use Crypto Drone to open the vault doors from a safe location. And you can even pick up the items in the vault if you have the Salvage Operation Pack equipped. To avoid enemies from following you after rotating to a safe location with Octane Jump Pad, make sure to destroy the pad after using it. Apart from recoil smoothing, there is another way to control your recoil which is called Jitter Aiming and is accomplished by drawing tiny circles with your scope as you fire. You prevent a lot of the weapon's kickback, making your shots more accurate. If you want to go for solo queue, you'll need movement legends who can rotate and get out of sticky situations quickly. The best solo queue legends for me are Octane, Raid, Fade, Ash, Pathfinder, Bloodhound and Bangalore. Ok, the last two aren't actual movement legends, but Bangalore can use her smoke to flee from enemies and Bloodhound can scan enemies and locate them which is useful because you won't have teammates telling you where enemies are located. This was the final one. It was an exciting ride, but hopefully it was worth your time. Thank you for the amazing support you showed me in the previous months, take care of your friends and family, and until the next video, stay safe.